hello student welcome in new session of econ 355 course title is structure and dynamics of indian agriculture i am professor pallavi devkate and in today session we study about lecture number 15 on farm mechanization okay in previous lecture we will study about irrigation development in india and in which we studied in detail about irrigation development in india then advantages of irrigation then problems related to irrigation development in india and some future possibilities of irrigation development in india okay in today's lecture we are going to learn about farm mechanization okay so we see one by one different points in farm mechanization so first of all we see the farm mechanization mainly okay so in agriculture there are various types of works or operations has to be done on the farm okay so in agriculture or farm there are various types of works and these works can be done with manually or with the help of different machinery okay so for example tractive work that means the work which are used the power exerted in pulling for example seed by preparation cultivation harvesting etc we call it as a tractive work whereas some works that is stationary work for example threshing winnowing etc okay so this farm mechanization implies the use of mechanical technology in varied farming operations like sowing harvesting threshing leveling etc okay so this farm mechanization means simply the use of mechanical technology for various operations is known as farm mechanization okay after meaning of farm mechanization next point that is definition of farm mechanization okay so in case of definition of farm mechanization first definition that is the process of developing agricultural machines and substituting these machine power for human and animal power in agricultural production practices is known as farm mechanization okay so the first definition that is the process of developing farm machines also substituting these machine power to the human power as well as animal power in agricultural production practices is known as farm mechanization okay so in short this farm, uh, farm mechanization means the substituting the human as well as animal power for machine power okay another definition of farm mechanization that is it means the use of machines for conducting agricultural operations replacing traditional methods which involved human and animal labor is known as farm mechanization okay so in another definition of farm mechanization it specially emphasize on use of machines for replacing human and animal labor okay so okay after a definition of farm mechanization next point that is types of farm mechanization so basically there are major four types of farm mechanization in that first one that is partial farm mechanization second one that is complete farm mechanization third one that is mobile farm me mechanization and fourth one that is stationary farm mechanization okay so we see one by one these different types of farm mechanization so first of all we see the partial and complete farm mechanization so in case of partial farm mechanization when the part of a farm work is done by the machine that we call as a partial mechanization that means 
in this type of mechanization only a part of farm work is done to using different machineries okay and remaining part or remaining work is done with the help of human labor as well as animal labor that is called as a partial farm mechanization okay that means only part of farm work is done by the machine that is partial mechanization after that second type is the complete farm mechanization when the animal or human labor is completely dispensed with by power supplying machines that we call as a complete farm mechanization that means totally the animal as well as human labor is completely replaced by power supplying machine that mechanization is known as complete farm mechanization okay so these are the two types of farm mechanization in that first one is partial and second one is complete farm mechanization after that next type of farm mechanization that is mobile and stationary farm mechanization so first one that is mobile farm mechanization in which the job requiring traction work is done and they attain to replace animal power okay so in case of mobile farm mechanization main attempt is to replace the animal power for example plowing harrowing leveling etc okay for uh, in case of mobile farm mechanization the human as well as uh, animal labor is required to conduct such type of work that is mobile farm mechanization after mobile farm mechanization next type of farm mechanization that is stationary farm mechanization okay so this stationary farm mechanization is basically aimed at reducing the drudgery of certain operations how to be performed by human labor or combine efforts of human and animal labor okay so stationary farm mechanization basically used to reduce the hard work or some boring work operations and that can be performed with the help of human as well as combined effort of human and animal power for example lifting of irrigation water threshing then crushing of sugar cane winnowing etc such type of work are coming under this farm stationary mechanization okay so these are the major types of farm mechanization in that first one is complete farm mechanization second one is partial farm mechanization then mobile mechanization and last one that is stationary farm mechanization okay after the types of farm mechanization next one that is scope of farm mechanization okay so there is wide scope for farm mechanization in that first point that is to get timely operation on the field okay it is the one of the major scope of farm mechanization that means the machines may be used and that machine can complete the work on time otherwise crop yield may be small or if sowing is not done on a right time it uh, it will get the loss to the farmer so first and major scope that is to get timely operation on the field second one that is to intensify multiple cropping okay so due to the different machineries used in harvesting operations then use of suitable machines are important and due to which the it is possible to cultivate different types of crops or multiple crops on the field next scope that is to meet labor shortage okay in the areas where agriculture done around the year in that areas there is lots of labor shortage and due to use of machineries in that particular areas it meet the labor shortage problem okay so in the labor shortage problem the 
use of machine is preferred as the compared to that of labor next scope that is to undertake costly operation okay due to the use of machines it is possible to take different costly operation otherwise it would be difficult to perform different task okay another scope that is to take up the more tough work as deploying and harrowing machines would be more beneficial than the human or animal labor okay so these are the some scope of farm mechanization okay after scope of farm mechanization next point that is benefits of farm mechanization so this farm mechanization can be advantages to the farmer from different points of view in that first one that is it increases the production okay so mechanization increases the rapidity as well as speed of work uh, with which the farming operations can be performed that means this mechanization increases the speed as well as rapidity of work and that ultimately leads to increase in production of that particular crop okay second advantage that is to increase the efficiency and per man productivity okay mechanization increase the efficiency of labor in agriculture and raises the agricultural production per worker that means per worker increases the efficiency as well as productivity of a farm next benefit that is mechanization result in lower the cost of work due to the uh, different machines which are used to performing different tasks it has been universally recognized that one of the methods of reducing unit cost is to enlarge the size of a farm and go through more intensive farming okay so in case of intensive farming there is large scale farming and due to which the cost of production is decreases okay the cost of work as well as capital outlay for power farming as compared to the animal power can be less okay after that next benefit that is other improvement in agricultural techniques due to the use of different machines it increases the other improvement in agriculture for example in the sphere of irrigation land reclamation then prevention of soil irrigation etc improvement can be done with the help of farm mechanization next benefit of farm mechanization there is it contract the demand for work animal okay due to the use of different machines to perform different tasks such as plowing water lifting harvesting transport the demand for work animal can be reduce after that next advantage that it leads to commercial agriculture the mechanization has always resulted in shift from subsistence farming to or pleasant farming to commercial agricultural farming okay so due to the use of machines it is possible to convert into commercial agricultural farming next one that is it modify the social structure in rural areas okay so this mechanization result in significant modification of social structure in rural areas so it frees the farmer from much of the laborious tedious hard work on the farm okay and the life of that particular farmer becomes more easily and ultimately it increases the standard of living of that particular farmer so this farm mechanization can leads to modify the social structure in rural areas after that next benefit that is it releases the manpower for non agricultural purpose as various types of machinery are used to perform different work in agriculture so it releases manpower to perform different non agricultural work okay after that next benefit that is increases the farm income 
okay as the cost of operations can be reduced by using this pump mechanization and due to which the production is also increases and ultimately it leads to increase in farm income of a farmer next benefit that is it result in better use of land so mechanization also result in better utilization of agricultural land because the substitution of gasoline tractor for animal power means reduce the demand okay the use of machine energy therefore it leads to good agricultural production then to trade too many crops or sellable animal product etc in short to exchange the economy and system of land utilization in which cultivator rest on different and indefinitely more complex basis than found in local or self sufficient economy okay so ultimately the various types of land or land utilization pattern can be used or land can be used for the cultivation purpose these are the different benefits of farm mechanization after different benefits of farm mechanization next one that is limitations or disadvantages of farm mechanization so there are major five to six limitations of farm mechanization in that first one that is it reduces the scope of agricultural employment it is the one of the major demerit of farm mechanization due to the use of different machineries it reduces the agricultural employment after that next one that is due to the huge existence of huge number of small and marginal farms in underdeveloped countries like india the farm mechanization is not possible okay so in our countries that is underdeveloped countries there are large number of small and marginal farms so in that case it is not possible to adopt farm mechanization after that third disadvantage that is lack of trained pers- personnel so uh, this lack of trained personnel can also stand in the path of mechanization like in india next one that is rapidly rising the price of oil is one of the problem in farm mechanization and this rise in price of oil create them lots of hurdles in the path of mechanization okay uh, next one that is mechanization of farm has also increase the degree of regional disparity in the level of income and also raise the interpersonal inequality of income so due to the farm mechanization it increases the income inequality in the countries like india and last the merit of farm mechanization is the mechanized farm will render the huge number of existing crops cattle population surplus and unnecessary okay so due to the farm mechanization this animal power is replaced with machine power so ultimately it increases the cattle population surplus which is unnecessary okay so these are the different demerits of farm mechanization okay so question may be asked on this topic like define farm mechanization and explain different types of farm mechanization or also question may be asked on this define farm mechanization explain scope of farm mechanization and also explain different merits as well as demerits of farm mechanization okay so this is all about today's lecture that is farm mechanization in which we studied about definition of farm mechanization then different types of farm mechanization scope of farm mechanization then merits and demerits of farm mechanization okay so this is all about today's lecture thank you all